What's up YouTube, Tom Itself here. I may be a bit in over my head here. I just accepted a contract to build a space station around Minmus with room for 15 Kerbals. Thing is, I don't have 15 Kerbals. I have, well, the original four and plus one right now, so I need to hire another you know, 14 Kerbals. Fortunately, I can do some rescue contracts. I found this one, but this is going to be a it's going to be a big project. Like I said, I may be in over my head, but let's give it a go. Got a thousand science to spend for my previous Minmus trip, so let's go ahead and pick out what I'm going to need. Um, I don't think I need aerodynamics for this. We can leave that alone. Uh, I'm probably going to need some RCS to dock these different pieces together. So let's get the advanced flight controls. All right. What else do we need? Probably don't need the mainsail to do this. We're just going to Minmus. Probably don't need the precision parts to do this. Larger RCS fuel tanks might be useful, but they're not critical. But here we go, the clampeton docking port. Uh, we're going to be docking stuff together, so I need this for sure. I uh, don't need the grabbing unit right now. What did that end up? Larger parts... Uh, shield the docking port. Might want to look into that. I'll have to think about it. And some structural pieces. Okay, well, let's keep looking here. Uh, not going to need this stuff, I don't think. Stability control. This, well, it wouldn't be bad to have, but I'll keep looking. Ah, this is one that I need. The three-seat command pod. Going to need that. I don't want to have to bring up lots of individual pods to take care of things. Ah, the mobile processing lab might be useful if we can figure out how to work that into exploring Minmus. What else do we have? Ah, uh, stack decoupler. Graviton, that wouldn't be bad. Ah, uh, extra large solar panels. Not bad to have, but I don't think we need them for uh, what we're doing today. Uh, a large reaction wheel would be nice to have, but again, I think I can get away without it. But I think I'm going to take this mobile processing lab. Next, we need to hire some Kerbals. Um, and actually, I can only have 12 Kerbals right now. I'm going to need 15, so this has to be upgraded. But <laughs> not, there's nothing more to say there. Let's go in and start recruiting some Kerbals. I've got I rescued Newly from orbit, so he's he's ready for this mission. But I'm gonna want 14 more. So let's uh, let's start hiring Kerbals. So ooh, this is gonna get expensive. We got two million in the bank, but mm hmm. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's just go ahead and hire the rest of them, and we'll try and save the last couple from. Uh, wherever they need saving. With that in, let's figure out where our first rescue mission is. Tomfin. Alright. Where are you? Ah, oh, you're in equatorial orbit? No, we can we can go pick you up right away. Let's go ahead and do that. Alright, we're on the home stretch now. This hasn't been too hard. This next pass should put me fairly close to an intercept. Oh wait, no, it's going to be the one after this. Still 100, and there, 51 kilometers out. I think I'll do one more time around. And 2.4 kilometers. So I'm thinking we'll make one more little correction over here. And we should be able to get everything where we need it to go. So, uh, well, I'm currently headed towards the target, which is in, oh, is over there. So all I've got here is a probe core on top of, oh, god damn it, I forgot to take the Kerbal out. I'm an idiot. Okay, let's do it again. Alright, intercept acquired. This time I don't have a Kerbal sitting in the cockpit making things difficult. Uh, so... Okay, whatever. 
There's his debris. Let's switch on over to the Kerbal. Hello, Tomfin. Gonna have you EVA. Let go. Oh, they're gonna run into each other. And there we have it. All right, Tomfin, let's go home so we can send you to Menmus and make you do all that stuff. Looks like that's the space center over here. Uh, I need to switch out of target mode. Yes, there we go. Well, really, all we need to do is uh, slow down. That should get us fairly close. I think we have a lot of extra fuel. Well, as much as I like having the, f the engine and the fuel, I think I better ditch it so it doesn't become an issue. Goodbye, and uh, let's uh, go on through the atmosphere here. A little time acceleration. See how close I got to Kerbal Space Center. I just have to watch out when I want to deploy that parachute to try and get as Whoa! Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's right. I have time acceleration, and I hit a button. Let's uh, let's get control of that. There's the space center. Uh, I'm gonna go past it, but not by too much. Probably don't want to actually hit it coming in from orbit like this. Uh oh, let's turn off those thermometers. Wait, what What did that say? Oh, fudge. I, um, I seem to have deployed the parachute accidentally. Vehicle destroyed. Uh, we're going to revert the flight again. Damn it. Okay. Third time's a charm, right? Well, maybe. Okay, buddy. We're finally going to get you out of here. There we go. All right. Nice shot of the moon. Now, we want to go back to Kerbal Space Center, which is here. Looks good to me. And this time, I'm not going to deploy my parachute. There we go. Because Tomfin's going to get all of, I don't know, a couple days on the ground before he's back into space for months and months and months. <laughs> I think I've overshot it again. Yeah. That's fine. I'd rather land in the water than on the mountains. Yep. Worked like a charm. Having the probe fly, uh, definitely a fine idea. Let's recover that vessel and see what we've got. Did he get uh, an extra level for doing that? Uh, no science value. Less than 100 kilometers from Kerbal Space Center. Get some funds back. And, ah, yes, he, uh, he got to level 1. So, he will be going out to Minmus, I think. Very good. Okay, this is launch attempt number 1. We are right at the maximum weight limit for this pad. I don't really have the funds to upgrade it right now, so I think this is going to be enough to get there, but oh, we'll see. It's a science lab and a, a little observation module, whatever the thing is with all the nice little windows. I think it's going to Minmus, but uh, let's find out. Oh my, that's a lot of wobble. Uh-oh, I'm losing it, I'm losing it. I turned too fast. Let's try again. Attempt number two. Let's turn a little slower this time. I should have nosed over a little further sooner, but... Yeah, and this doesn't have any fins on it. Oopsie. 
<laughs> I should. That would have helped, wouldn't it? Yes, fin's good. I just found out the other day that I can use the mouse wheel for the maneuver nodes, which is quite nice. You start extending solar panels. Oh, and our stage burned out. That's just fine, actually. All right, we're going to make a correction burn here. I'm running low on fuel, but I think I have enough left. I'm going to get ourselves down to about 25 kilometers near Minmus, as opposed to the 730 that I'm at right now. That's it. Okay, now we'll just do that and call it good for now. I can worry about rendezvousing later. And I'm going to have at least two more pieces to bring up. So here are three Kerbals, 12 to go. You know what, that's good for now. How's the science lab doing, guys? Yeah, oh, yeah. Awesome. You look slightly terrified, but it's okay. Process in the lab module. Serve the mystery goo. What's that in the lab module? Now I can transmit this back for not much, or I could recover it. If I have you go on an EVA, will you be on the other side? Yes. Excellent. That was a point of confusion when I was testing earlier. So, where's that, where's that goo canister? Oh, it's on the, it's right there. Collect the data, remove the data, and then restore the goo experiment. There we go. Getting to this, there it is. Oh. I swear, this is the most difficult part of this entire thing. Oh, you're right next to it. What could be the problem? There we go. Okay. Okay, well, that's all a little fiddly, but I think it works. So I get uh, 0.19 science per day. And I already have 147 data. Hmm. I'm going to have to send someone back with all this data. But we can start our research. It's not a lot, but, uh, yeah, it'll, it'll get us something. In the meantime, let's worry about getting the rest of this station up and working. All right, back to the admin building. What we have here are an opportunity to pick up a couple more Kerbals. F rescue Fredger from Orbit of Kerbin. We'll, we'll do that. Will needs a rescue. And Ned Pond needs a rescue. All right, so let's go save some Kerbals. Um, I've got a vehicle on the launch pad, but I've got three in orbit I've got to save. Will, Ned Pond, and Fredger. Well, it looks like they're all roughly in the same orbit, but I think Will is going to be the easier one to get to. Let's get up there and save a Kerbal. All right, good enough. Let's uh, let's do this. Hello, that's a three-man pod you got there. Out of electric charge. All right. And all aboard. Now let's get rid of that. 
All right, back to orbit mode. And uh, let's see if we can land somewhat close to Kerbal Space Center this time. Which is over here. Is that the Space Center? I think that's the Space Center. That's how you do it. Two Kerbals rescued. Uh, I think I need two more. At least I took contracts for two more, so we'll go ahead and pick them all up. That's fine. Excellent. He's spinning there. <laughs> and spinning and spinning and sp Oh, wow, I bet you're busy. I bet you're dizzy up here. All right, let's, uh... Let's go ahead and click save. And EVA you... Okay. <laughs> Alright. Yes, he's happy to be saved. Alright. There we go. And it's still spinning. <laughs> okay. That'll do. And I am ditching a bunch of fuel again, but oh well. Let's see how close to uh, the Space Center I got myself this time. Oh, it's gonna be close! <laughs> Is he even gonna land in the water? <laughs> uh, I can't quite see the space center from here, but if I zoom out, yep, right there. Uh, it's pretty good. I'll take that. <laughs> Let me just go over to the complex. Rudger is an engineer. All right. All right. Let's, uh, let's switch over and. EVA there, and over to the rescue capsule. All right, Ned Pond, don't freak out. Recover the vessel. Ned Pond, what are you? It's another engineer. All right, get up on engineers, I think. 